Hello, in this video demonstration you're going to learn how we can draw a piece of furniture from scratch. Um, let's imagine that we have a chair. The first thing that I would do would be to fit it inside three dimensions, how wide, how tall, and how deep it would be. So you draw a box first and then if you don't like it, you think that it needs to be taller for a chair, maybe you adjust the height. It's very important that we get that done first. The next thing that you would have to do, obviously, is erase the lines that you don't think would fit in your proportions, and then start kind of hacking, sort of speak, or cutting away the proportions that you think would be the most appropriate, more accurate for your chair. Like, for example, if I wanted to do my seat at this height. <clears throat> Remember, this distance here would be the overall height of my chair. So this is my seat, the height for the seat. After I have that, I can draw my back, right, and start adding extra lines to define the chair, something like this. And um, I want now to start erasing a few lines. Um, as I'm doing here, some lines that I don't think I'll be needing. Let's erase this dimension here, these lines here. So now we have a full height. Um, I think the top of the box needs to be adjusted slightly. Didn't draw this line correctly, it would be more like that. Plus the back line, maybe a bit flatter. So barely see the top of that box. So I, I like this better. And now I start adding extra lines that define my proportions. Like, for example, if the chair has that shape, you see how this line, this point over here, could be defined by just first carrying the horizontal line across as I was slicing it horizontally, and then from this point kind of take it to the other side. And I would have this dimension somewhere here. So now I have the back of my chair roughly like this and I have that dimension that is gets carried to the other side and now my seat would be slightly smaller somewhere there. Now the seat, if it has like a round front, I would have to round that off and then if it dips maybe in the center it has like a front lip I would have now to draw it, making sure that I fit it in perspective, and then round these corners off, and then add a little curvature to the chair. You see, it's a lot easier once we start with a simple shape. And after I do that, I can just start drawing the shape for my legs, in this case, maybe something along these lines. I have maybe my back legs like this. This is the thickness of my legs and they are somehow connected to the seat. So I draw these lines like that and now I have my back with a slight curvature that is folded um, with that fold on the side. This is my own design. Um, maybe something like this. Alright, but it's a lot easier, as you see, to get started with just my simple lines defining the box. Once I have the main lines kind of figured out, I can go around my drawing and clean up my lines by erasing anything that is not really relevant to the drawing, um, like the base lines, like this and so on. Alright, something along these lines, erasing a little bit there. And now I should be able, let's erase some of these lines here. The line here erased. Okay, we got it. That line like that. This line can be erased and the thickness of the leg could be added more over here. And this is the back leg. Now this back support, I need to increase it slightly that way. 
All right, so we got our design already drawn. I'd like to draw a few lines here to indicate some sort of a depth to my lines, like that. And now I can add as well some hatching if I want to make the chair look more three-dimensional. Let's add some hatching there. And if we want, we can add some lines on the floor like this so that it looks like it's sitting on the ground. After I do that, I can just go ahead and erase the extra lines that I have here, and then I would have already a good sketch of a chair.